Hello and welcome to YouTube. The financial crisis of 2007-2008, also known as the global financial crisis, is considered by many economists to have been the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. So in the wake of the financial crisis, economists and researchers trying to evaluate the impact of this crisis on the housing market using Markov chain to predict the housing inventories in the next stages. So in this question, I'm going to show you how to use Markov chain to predict the uh, stage one and stage two in the housing market. So let's uh, start uh, re uh, reading the question. Uh, researchers estimated the transition rates between the three stages of a depressed housing market as below. C current on mortgage, D delinquent in payment, and F default. And they set up the probability in this example. And this is how we read it. The probability of the current stay current is 85%. The probability of current go to delinquent it's a 15% and the probability of current go to default 0% and so forth and what we know also that we know the current stock of houses in stage C D and F are 100 20 and 5 respectively in a thousands using Markov chain model to find the projected number of houses in stage one and two. So based on the, this information, based on the probability of the mortgages, and based on the current stock houses, we want to predict the inventory and the housing market for stage one and stage two. So we let's set up a matrix for that. The probabilities matrix is this one, and the current stock and thousand metrics in this format. All right, before I start mul multiplying the matrices uh, together, first of all, I want to verify, you want to, you need to verify that the sum of this probability is equal to one or 100% and the sum of the probability is equal to one and the same thing. So highlight this three and hit Alt equal if the probability does not equal to 100 or 1, there is something wrong here. You have to check your uh, probability numbers. Uh, the second thing that before you start multiplying two matrices, you need to verify the column number in this matrix is the same as the row number in the second matrix. So this one has a three columns. This one has three rows, so it's you can multiply it. So based on this information, we want to predict the number of houses in stage one and stage two. To do that, you highlight three rows, hit equal sign, MM, hit tab, highlight this matrix, comma, and highlight the second one close parentheses and hit control shift enter so here we go you have uh, 86,000 will stay current 18,000 will go to delinquent and 21,000 will go to a default so to predict the number of houses in a stage 2 we're going to use the probability matrix we're going to multiply it by the number of houses in a stage 1 so highlight three rows, equal sign, MM, head tab, highlight this matrix, comma, and highlight the second one. Close parentheses and hit control shift enter. A number of houses in stage one, and this is the number of houses in stage two. Thank you for watching.